Hey guys, this is Paracord Geek. I'm here today to show you how to make a double tatted knot paracord bracelet uh, with a buckle. Um, now, I did not make this knot, um, so I'm not going to take credit for that. Uh, I found it on the internet, and I'm going to put that link down in the box if you want to go ahead and look at their website. Um, so, let's get started. Uh, the things you're going to need are just something to rub melted paracord onto. Or just something you don't really care about because it will stay on there. It may come off depending on what you're using, but most of the time it's going to stay on there. And then you're going to need a lighter. I'm going to use a Zippo lighter. Um, they're a little bit easier to use once you get them going. There you go. Just, it takes a little while to heat them up. Um, they're a little bit easier to use. You don't have to push a button down or anything. So, there's my lighter. Then you're going to need a tape measure. I'm not using it in this video, but you will have to use it um, earlier. I'm just not using it to save time. Um, so, you're going to need that. Actually, I'm going to put that off to the side now. And then you're going to need, of course, a buckle, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it with a buckle. So, you're going to need that. And then something to cut with. I'm using scissors, of course. You can use a knife. Both work just as well. And then you're going to need paracord. Um, I am using orange and blue. Just to tell you, I'm not a Gators fan. I don't really watch college football at all, actually. Um, so just to make that clear, I'm not a Gators fan. So, um, to start, it's basically just like a, a Cobra or a King Cobra bracelet. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take one side from each of your pieces of paracord, like that, and then get your lighter going, and then you're going to burn both sides of it. So, I'm going to show you what I did. Now, you don't want to burn it too much so that it turns black, but you just want to get it slightly melted. And then once that's done, you're just going to push it together and just hold it there. And then this is where your little piece comes in. You're going to rub off the excess um, melted part that came off. Put my flame out. And then you just want to keep pushing towards that. Now be careful. Um, you could burn yourself. I've done it before. It doesn't feel good. Because mm -hmm. um, this stuff gets pretty hot. Especially with these Zippo lighters. Um, they burn pretty hot. So once that's together, make sure it's nice and tight. Pull it apart. Alright, so now it's good. And then you're going to take your buckle. Split it apart. Give the two sides. Now you're going to put this one to the side. So put that one away so you have this side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this buckle. You're going to take one of your sides, it doesn't matter, and just put it up through the bottom. And push it. Push it up through there. And pull it through so you have that with one of your colors through. And you're going to go over top your buckle, around it, pull these sides back, and then pull these back. So, and then make that tight there. Now this is why this seal needs to be tight, because you got to pull on it. Make that tight. Alright. So now once you have that, you're going to separate these two, and then run it all the way down to the very back. And then once you get there, you're going to go from the bottom side up with each side of the pieces of paracord. Now I know I didn't mention it in the video in the beginning of the video, but you're going to for every inch of the size of your wrist that you're making your bracelet for, you're going to have one foot of paracord. And since there's two colors, you're going to need four feet because I'm making this an eight inch bracelet, so four feet of each color. Um, and I will, as you can see, I put that up in the uh, box in the beginning. Um, so then, once you're going to do that, um, here, I'm going to take off this bracelet. Now this is what it's going to look like in the end. Looks pretty cool. And then just 
mess. I'm gonna put it on my wrist so I can measure it. Cause you know you may you can put it on a tape measure or something, but the best is just your actual wrist. Now what I like to do is leave a little bit of slack off the end, like that. I'm gonna give it about that much. And once you have the right length that you want, you're just gonna take it off like so. It's monster. There we go. Alright, so then you have this. Alright. Now what you're gonna do is flip it over so that you're on the top side of it. Like this. Okay. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay. So you have this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come, it doesn't matter which one you do first, you're gonna come in front like this, go up, around, and pull up through that little loop you made, and then pull that tight. So, pull that as tight as you can get it, because this first knot really um, matters a lot. Like that. And then the second time, you're going to use the same one. Go behind it this time, though. Go behind. And then up through that loop. And then pull that through. And then you're just going to pull that tight. So then you have that. Now what I like to do is just pull this tight here. Make the, make the first loop tight and then pull it down on the second one. So you have that. And then once that is done, you're going to flip it over, and then you're going to do the same thing with the other one, except on this side. So I'll show that to you again. On top, underneath, up through that little hole there, and pull that tight. Like that. And then underneath, around, and pull through, and pull that tight. And then just, I like to pull that one tight there, just makes it look better. And then you're going to do that all the way down through. I'm going to show you one more time just in case you didn't get it. Down like that. Pull it tight. And then underneath and up through. And pull it tight. And then you're going to keep doing that until you get here. So once you're here, um, it's really easy to finish it off. You're just going to get your cutting support, supply or whatever, and then your lighter, and then you're just going to cut it, or well, actually first pull it tight, the last two pull them tight, and then cut it with a little bit of uh, tag hanging off, and same on here, pull it tight. And then cut it with a little bit of tag. So you just have that slight bit of tag. So you can see that. So, and then you're just going to light your lighter up. Hopefully it'll get going. There it goes. And then you're just going to melt it. Super simple. And then what I'll do sometimes is I'll just take my little uh, pad here and then I'll just push it down onto there. Just like, I'll make sure you pull it off fast. And then do the same on this side. Melt it. Just like that. And then I'll just push it down.
right? And then, there you have it. A double tatted knot paracord bracelet with a buckle. Uh, now the bottom side looks a little messy. Um, but that's alright as long as the top side looks good. Um, so, here's your double tatted knot paracord bracelet. Check out my channel. And then I'll put that link where I found how to, well, I just, I found the picture of this and then I just figured out how to make it. But, um, check out my channel, I got a bunch of cool stuff on there. And, uh, thank you for watching.